Hello, Blood Bowl fans. Welcome to our human team, the Appleseed Operatives. We're still going okay-ish. I mean, our last game could have been worse. Could have been better, definitely. <laughs> Although, how much worse you can get from a 4-0 loss, I, I don't know. Prefer to obviously get somewhere in the 1-0 range, but we'll see. Team roster is looking okay. I mean, this is our last game as the humans. If these guys level up, it'd be kind of funny. Not really necessary, but kind of funny. Oh, right. This guy's out of the out of commission. Totally forgot about that. So we're going to have a... We're going to have a ringer. Okay. Well, it's only a lineman. So really, I mean, these guys are pretty expendable. 50k is not too expensive. Not on par for a lineman, I think. Um... Yeah, I think if I was developing this team, I would make one of these linemen, I don't know who, but somebody, maybe even a blitzer, as the catcher. Because we have a thrower. And right now, we're not really taking good advantage of the thrower. So it might be nice to throw that in somewhere. At ha ha ha. Um, the ogre is decent, and it looks like on a developed team, the ogre could really be a powerhouse. You could definitely, like throw down here and mighty comes with mighty blow we put guard on him i think we just try to keep advantage of that and just push through the front line maybe the humans as a bashy team is more my strength more my speed i don't know we'll see now let's go and start the game oh shit it's a necromantic team <laughs> this never bodes well for me necromantic are my kryptonite but let's see let's find out we have no pity cash, so obviously we get a journeyman. Um, he gets 1040. He gets petty cash. Um, okay, so obviously you go for the Budweiser, babe, because why wouldn't you, right? He has 20k in reserve, so we can't afford anything else. 80k, I don't think gets you anything. Extra team training, I think is 100k. The halfling dinner is 300, unless you're a halfling, in which case is only one. Um, yeah, I think obviously you're for the Budweiser, babe, nothing else. Yeah, yep, yep, werewolves in the Necromantic team are fucking dangerous. And I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. I'm already intimidated and we haven't even started yet. It's not a good sign. Usually you want some kind of good morale going into a game, and unfortunately, not there. Blowing up grass by the squigs. All right, then. Okay, we're in the grove and it's snowing. Well, isn't that just great? Okay, I don't remember what snowing does. I know it reduces visibility, so passing is probably going to be bad. Not that we really have a big passing game anyway, but I think it'll add a modifier. Um, it might make going for it rolls more tricky, but I don't actually know that. Okay, so with the Necromantic team, gotta focus down the whites, focus down the werewolves. There's a lot of guys to focus down on. Werewolves are definitely more dangerous. If I have a choice, I'll definitely go for a werewolf. Be smart though, he's gonna protect those wolves. No question. We could go on the offensive here, but I kinda go to one defense. Oh, though I don't get to choose. Alright, never mind. Main thing at offensive, because it might be our only chance to score, but I don't know. It's possible we'll be okay. Or possibly the same either way. We'll see. I wonder what runes those are on his whistle. It's gotta mean something, right? I mean, right now they just look like E's, but... Alright, so we're on defense. Okay. Um, I think first thing we do... Actually, Emperor's Shield, maybe not. Maybe we go to... To the center. I kinda like that. I like the arrow. Alright, sure, we'll go with this. What the hell? It's a default setup. But at least it borders the ogre, and then makes it maybe so we can tackle with him. Though tackling on one of those Frankenstein is not going to work out very well. Okay, that's a bare level Frankenstein. Sorry, flesh golem. And actually, okay, so some people say, okay, this is not Frankenstein's Frankenstein's monster. Well, actually, you regard Frankenstein's monster as the son of Frankenstein, in which case his name is Adam Frankenstein, in which case he is Frankenstein. It's just he's not Dr. Frankenstein, which is totally different. But no one ever calls him Dr. Frankenstein. No one ever makes that mistake. No one confuses the monster for the doctor. 
Not even in Doctor Who. Well, I guess it happens sometimes. It happened that one time in... Um, shoot, I'm totally forgetting the name of the episode now. Oh, sure, let's just kick it to the werewolf. Sure, fuck it. Let's go hard on it. Oh, man. Investing in kit. Okay, we next gym rule. That's good news, actually. I like that. It actually got him back on our side, so that's a touchback. That sucks. Because it's one extra. So he gets to pick who he goes to, and of course he's going to pick the werewolf. Wow, that was really bad. That was a bad first turn for us. Already. It's not even started yet, really. Okay, so he gets to tackle. He should definitely do that. Push is not too bad. I think push down this way. Push it on the left. Push to the left, and then you'd be able to, yeah, then you'd be able to tackle with this guy and generally have a good time. What I would do. Yeah, why not? Make it on both sides there. I wish you chose attacker down, but that is not the way that went. Okay, no big deal. No armor break. That's good. Look at that. He rolled a 2 and a 1 on the armor break, so that's pretty good for us. And just a bad dice roll on that on that kickoff. Did he actually... Was he, like, ahead? And that kind of played a mental game for me, so that I kicked great for him, and then it just got off the side? That was a really bad kickoff. Could have been the wind happened, or something like that. I don't know exactly what happened there. He's lining up for a tackle here, probably. But with guard, this is not going to be easy. He's got to tackle with one of his flesh golems, I think. Yep, there we go. Okay... Bad, but it could have been worse. Yep. Okay, we just have to stand up for a lot of our guys. And they go again, but... Oh, that's actually good. He uses one of his rerolls. He only has two. Now he has one. And only a push, which I think he should definitely take. He has somebody here. Oh, that's a werewolf in the middle there. Alright, let's see if we can smash down the werewolf. Though, the ogre by himself, not a good idea, maybe. He could blitz with the werewolf. The werewolf has frenzy, though. Could put him in a dangerous spot if he, if he blitzes with him. Yeah, he's not doesn't need a blitz, though. He can just tackle. I thought he has frenzy. Yeah, that's frenzy on his card. Okay. But he knocked down the ogre, so he doesn't need to use frenzy. All right, and then... Do you can do something with the guy in back? Okay, yeah, final tackle there. That makes sense. Doesn't need to blitz, either. He could... He hasn't done it yet, though. If I were him, I might blitz this guy over here to make a hole. Portland's kind of exposed out there. Or you could go for the foul on the ogre, sure. Could get called off, though. I don't think the guy's surrounded. The rough's right there. He's going to go for it. All right. He went for the human on the foul. He's right there. Um, Excuse me, ref? Oh, that is so messed up. I mean, he messed up on the failure, on the foul roll, too, but... We did not fare well there at all. Okay, so we stand you up. Stand you up. He did not get bonehead, thank goodness. I would love to smash this guy down. It looks like we can do it. Wow, really? I don't have block on this guy, so I think we do use one of our rerolls. Okay, that's pretty good. But he has his dodge, isn't he? Maybe not. Go that way. Stay where you are. Open for an injury, but I'll take what I can get. Stand you up. And stand you up. Now, the trouble is... I mean, the trouble is a damn werewolf can do whatever the hell he likes. And we can't really say boo about it. I can come over here and tackle this guy. It's only one dice. Not my favorite move in the world. Come over here and tackle this guy. Again, only one dice. Not my favorite move in the world. Could stand right here and then tackle this guy. The idea being that we could maybe make it so he has to come over this way. I don't know if that's going to be as doable. Good knockdown, though. I'm um, sure. Go that way, but stay where you are. Okay, and then, yeah, just, just shore up here if you can. Now, it does mean there's a giant hole back here, which I don't love, so we're going to... We're going to hold two guys in reserve back here. The idea being that he has to get past one of us. And we could maybe tackle him. I don't know if that's true or not, but it could work. Um, and then, why don't we go and shore up here? Because by yourself isn't going to do anything. 
does make for a little bit of a hole here, which I'm not a fan of, but that's what these guys in back are for, right? Not a fan of any of this, but we'll see what we can do. The werewolf can do some bullshit moves. You gotta remember that. Okay, yep, there's one bullshit move you can do. Gonna try to surround and maybe break through here. He doesn't want to go this way. Which is fair, because I'm starting to work my way through here. He could just move his flesh golem over and then dodge through. The werewolf has a decent agility. Three. I mean, it's not great, but it's decent. It's not like elf agility or anything. Uh, going for it in this weather, I think, is problematic, but I don't see the modifiers for it anywhere. I don't see where that is. There's got to be a modifier for it. Probably in, like, settings or something? I have no idea. I don't want to go in settings right now, because I really don't want to. Could blitz with him. Yeah, with one of your rebels. It is going for it, though, because I knocked him down. Should at least stand him up. Okay, he's going to blitz with his white. That's actually not a bad call. Probably follow. Yeah, he's following. It's a little risky because that puts his white out there, but he could move everybody up a little bit. But really, he just wants to make a little bit of a hole here. Oh, but he tripped. Is that important enough? You're going to waste your last reroll? It's risky. Yeah, he's going to do it. Okay. I would... Okay, and he rolled another one. Wow. Okay. Actually, did he need something higher than the one there? Uh, yeah, he needed a 3 plus. Wow. Okay. I thought he needed a 2, but no, he needed a 3. Okay. So anyway, the not good for you. It's only one die. Oh, because this guy's here. Right, right, right. Okay, well, let's see what we can do about that. Um, let's see. So I can tackle this guy for two dice. Let's do it. Pretty good. Knock that flesh golem down. Uh, he's probably going to use stand firm. So the guy doesn't actually move anywhere. He doesn't have to, though. He decided to do it. All right. Did not get injured. That's okay. We should definitely stand you up. Not going to blitz with you, though. I'm just going to tackle with someone with flock. Like so. That's pretty good. Knock you over that way, but stay where you are. Okay, we need to start moving in here. So now's the time to think about maybe blitzing. We can go around this way. I don't think we can actually make that, though. We can at least touch him and make him think about his life. So, I can do this. That's only one die. I could come around here and tackle him there. That would free up at least one guy, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Try to push him backwards, at the very least. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, go that way. Stay where you are. Okay, then theoretically... I don't know, you're still blocked by the Flesh Golem there. I think instead you just surround him. Or actually, just mark him. We have ways to mark him here. Now, what he could do with Frenzy is something bullshitty, and I don't want to even talk about it, because it is total bullshit. But at least we mark him. And we could blitz us away here, and that could be bad. Uh, let me let me shore up a little bit here by doing this. We have the space to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Tackling the white would be nice. Um, we could come up here... And I think that would give us an extra die to do it. So here we go. And it does, but it's only a push. You know what? I'll take the push. Go that way. But stay where you are. Not quite what I wanted there, but it will take it. Um, And, I mean, tackling you is a really bad idea, so I don't want to do it. And I want to just keep you roughly in the middle, because I don't know what the hell that werewolf's going to do, and I'd rather not be too surprised. I think that's it. I don't I don't really want to tackle here. I don't want to move you. I think we're just going to keep you where you are. Now, the trouble with that is he can knock me aside pretty quick. I don't really have another good option, so I'm going to leave him. Might not have been the best, op best option. Some of these guys are not marked as well as I like. But the ball carrier is in trouble. He's got to do something with the ball carrier. That might just mean tackling one of my guys and getting him away, but he can only blitz. I mean, he could tackle with the ball carrier here. Tackle this guy. Blitz this guy. Then 
I mean, there's enough movement allowance for the wolf. He could get through either here or move him somewhere. But he's got to do something with that ball carrier. Otherwise, I'm going to tackle him for sure. Okay. Well, I kind of expected that. I mean, the white definitely gets some retaliation. Oh, and armor break. Stun? Please just stun. Okay, just a stun. That's actually not so bad. Okay, yep. I kind of expected that too. Either one of those works out well for you. Okay, he's going to try to... Yeah, okay, that's decent. And then he could probably move his wolf like here and then pass. That could work. I don't know if I'd be able to get to him that way. So he's kind of blocking the way there. I mean, he, has to, he still has to get away. He's not blitzed yet. Kind of surprising. Okay, he trusts, he trusts the dodge and he actually totally made that work. Good for you. Okay, now he can pass to his wolf friend. If he wants to. He doesn't really have to. He's basically trying to set it up so I can't follow him too easily. Could maybe wrap around and tackle him from this side, but it's going to be tough. I definitely surround the flesh golem now. Bash him with the ogre. Not really the best use of my resources, to be honest. Could smash the widest side and then move it down. If I go around from this side, yeah, I might be able to come like over here. I have to smash the white first. Not going to be easy. It's two red die. Holy shit. I didn't realize it was going to be that hard. Okay, um, you stand up at the very least. Okay, so then you come in over here. And if you at the very least mark this guy. We're going to have to spend a lot of resources to do this. That's unfortunate, but so it goes. Come on over here. Because they can't multi-tackle, right? So as long as we're occupying their forces, now I'm occupying everybody who could theoretically back him up. So now I get one die on this guy. Not great, but I might have to take it. Yeah, tackle here. Okay, I lucked out. How do they ever luck out that easily? Knock you aside that way. Um, Sure, follow it up. Okay, now I can get to this guy. We haven't actually blitzed yet, but we could. And we come over here. Okay. And now we come in this side, and we tackle from here, and then I get two die. With somebody who has blocks, so theoretically should make this easier. So you go that way. Definitely follow that. Ball gets bounced. Oh, are you... Okay, good, good, good. It's okay. I was worried there for a minute. Now I'm still kind of worried. I could go and try to pick up the ball, but there's no way that's going to happen. Just trust me on that. That's just not going to happen. I could try dodging away here to get next to the ball. Oh, we do have a reroll available. Let's, uh, that might be worth trying. Let's try it out. It worked out. We rolled a six. That's incredible. I really cannot believe it. Alright, that leaves you alone. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, two red die there. That is not good for you. There's really no way out for you there. I'm sorry you're going to get pummeled. It's just going to happen. If we do, have to do this, though. Alright, that's pretty good. He's going to choose stand firm again, so he just gets stuck down. Mighty blow. Well, stunned him. That's good. I like the stun. Put a flesh golem out of commission for a little while. Alright, let's see what he does. Now, he could just stand up his werewolf blitz. But then tackle here, maybe? That means they don't get to touch the ball, but maybe they don't need to. I just basically was focused on getting the ball away, but that might not be enough. Definitely stand up all your whites. Or all your, your guys. 
They're gonna tackle this guy. It's gonna happen. But then they don't have to blitz him. They just can regular tackle him. Are you actually gonna tackle him onto the ball? Wow. Uh, you were out of reroll, sir. So that's it for you. Okay, we lucked out. He went for an unnecessary play. Um, I don't know why, but that's what he did. Okay. That's actually great news. So we can stand you up. Um, the ogre can actually come over here. Oh, we have a chance for Bonehead. We always have a chance for Bonehead, right? So, yeah, we could blitz with him. I think we just come, we wanted the strength. We come over here. No Bonehead for me. Good for that. All right. Um, you have block. I'd really like you to pick up the ball, if at all possible. Oh, you have block too. That's also good. We had two die there because of his strength. So, let's do it. Tackle the werewolf. It's only a push, but I'll take it. Go that way. Definitely follow. Okay, now we have the ball. Well, we don't have the ball yet. We could have the ball. The three plus to pick up. We do still have the reroll. I'm going to do it. It's risky as all hell, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, couldn't pick up that ball, huh? Needed a three, rolled a two. Well, come on. We have a 50-50 chance. Let's do it. 50-50. Let's go. Nope. Rolled a 1 that time. Even worse. Okay. So much for that. At least we're next to the ball, but so is the white. Now, the ogre's next to the ball, and that's tough to deal with. But he does have the werewolf right there, so it's not that difficult. Kind of open to go along the left side here where my backup is, but um, so much for that. At the very least, chuck the ball, and then we could run down the line. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's going to hurt, because he has Mighty Blow, I think. No, he doesn't, actually. I'm just going off his strength, but that is not a good indicator. All right, so that freaked him up, but he can't do anything this turn. That's only a push. That's not so bad. Part of the push me away from the flesh goal? Nope. Towards him. Okay. I mean, the Ogre could try to pick up the ball, but he has agility, too. He's got less chance picking up the ball than... Any normal linesman or blitzer would. Thrower might be capable of picking up the ball, but I don't even know where he is right now. There he is. <laughs> there he is, right over here. Alright, so Werewolf definitely goes for like a frenzy tackle. Yeah, there you go. It's only one die, but it's all he needed. Frenzy's unnecessary, but at least he gets him orthogonal the ball, if nothing else. That's not orthogonal, that's diagonal. What am I talking about? Brain, what are you doing? Okay, I think you stand up your werewolf and tackle this guy. Or try to blitz the ogre, maybe. It seems super risky, but it's doable. Okay, you'll just go for all the dodges, but I'm not sure about the going for it's in this weather. Especially with no rerolls available. You go for you try to go for safe plays. Yeah, like tackle here. That's totally a safe play. Should have done that last turn, to be honest. And it's an armor break. Oh, okay. Sorry, Brayburn. Get you out. Um No, I think we're fine. We'll save the apothecary for now. Okay, the white's surrounded. I'm guessing any tackle here would be red die unless he does something really spiffy. Could be wrong. He doesn't have anything special there. He's decided not to move the white around. That's probably a safe move. He's going to go for the... Going for it here. And he could not pick up the ball, but no, he got it. He got it somehow? Yes. Okay, so I have the ball now. That's an unexpected turn of events. I was not expecting that at all. Okay, that's actually good news. The trouble is how the hell do we get out of this mess? All right, well, I think the ogre can tackle this guy. Yeah, for two die, definitely do that. That's a good roll. Please injure this werewolf. Um, stay where you are, though. I need you where you are, I think. Yeah. No injuries are allowed. Okay, that's okay. I could blitz this werewolf. And I think we need to do that. So, yeah, blitz him. I need to push him away. That's actually really good. Go that way. 
But stay where you are, because I need you there. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, one of the werewolves KO. That's nice. Could use an apothecary there, but he decided not to. I don't even know if he has an apothecary, I guess. Tackle here. That's good, too. Um, yeah, push him that way. Definitely follow it. Okay, a strategy is starting to develop. Definitely tackle this guy. Now we're getting into kind of risky territory here. Definitely follow that. Okay, so what I got to do is move you up here to give you the ball and then run. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay, come up here and go here. You have... I'm looking for someone to do block. You have block. Okay. So, yeah, tackle this guy. Loving all these. We're working out. Okay. Now, you come up here. To this guy. You hand him the ball. Don't fuck it up. Thank you very much for not fucking that up. And then you book it as far as and fast as you can. I do not want to use any rerolls. I don't think I need to. I mean, this guy could get away. He has good agility, but three guys around him. I think we have a good chance to stop him. And if I stand, like, right up here, we have an even better chance to stop him with the tackle zones. You're going to stay where you are. I'm sorry, but you're going to get pummeled. I could try to dodge, I guess. I'm going to try to dodge away. That is not a good dodge. That is not a good dodge either. You can go that far. Actually, can you just go around, like, here? There you go. That's a 3 plus dodge. You could not... Yeah, I mean, go for it. Yep, alright. That's expected. That is not important enough to use a reroll. We'll skip it. I was trying to give him a little bit of backup, but not necessary. Okay, I don't think he has anybody who can stop me. The white's the only one I'm really concerned about. The zombie doesn't have the movement allowance. The white has a problem. Right? He has this three guy problem right here. And he just stood him up. That's all he did. So once you stand him up, you can't move him. Might be able to get... Now, I don't think the Flesh Golem has a moon allowance either. I think he's stuck. I don't think he has anybody that can get to me. Which means he's going to focus on bashing down my team, most likely. Which is fair. Totally fair. I rolled a 1 on that dodge, I just realized. <laughs> the 1s are fast and furious. I mean, that's all you can do. I don't know what the hell he's doing. If I can delay to turn 8, I will. And I think I can. I definitely don't want to give him a chance to score. Not in this half, anyway. And I have enough rerolls, I might be able to hold him off. He has 0. Yeah, I definitely don't want to give him a chance to score. I don't know if he can do a 2-turn... 2-turn um, touchdown, but I'm going to assume the answer is yes. He's going to try tackling the Ogre. I think he has at least a die. Maybe not. Maybe two. Only one die. That was actually enough. That'll do it. That'll knock me down. Um, Alright, he chooses a... Oh, and actually, he got a end armor break. Okay, it's only a stun. That's not so bad. Got a little bit of revenge for that last hit. Okay, now the werewolf could totally get to me. Next turn. Definitely. Werewolves have crazy movement allowance. We need to move. We have to score. I don't want to, but we have to. The werewolf just being up and away from the ogre makes it super dangerous. And I can't do anything about it right now. But he's checking the movement allowance for it right now. We can check it too. It is not good for us. Now, I could try pushing him just barely beyond that. But I could just go for the touchdown, and that's a safe move. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to delay... Because I don't think he has the movement allowance to get to me. Yeah, he can't get to me there. I'm going to try to delay one more turn. It's risky. But I think worth it. Can I tackle you? Yeah, I get two die with that. Pretty good. I'll push you up that way and definitely follow. That'll stop you from following me. I could try tackling the werewolf, but it's not good news anyway I try it here. Um, the zombie cannot get to me. He can get close. He can't get there. Nobody else can get to me. Now, okay. 
So, tackle the zombie here. It's only one die. I could... Blitz here. I come in here. Oh, it's, uh, it's going for it. Could try stepping in front of the werewolf. He has a good chance of getting away from me, but that might be my best shot right now. Just standing right there. And then these are one die tackles, which I'm not a fan of. I can do this and maybe... Yeah, there you go. That pushes you off the side. Let's see where you are. And I think that means I got two die here. Yeah, there you go. And push you that way and stay where we are. Oh, good armor break on the white too. That's a nice, nice dice roll. We hardly ever get. And a stun. You're stunned. I don't really want to do a one die roll on you, but I guess we could. Yeah, anything to maybe shore up our chances, that's pretty good. Go that way, steer where you are. Alright, I don't think we can really focus down. Yeah, one die on the flesh golem, not plenty likely. No, let's uh let's keep things as they are. I think we're good. Now I could be wrong about the werewolf. Maybe there's a secret superpower. But I definitely want to score next turn, not this turn. I'm actually really surprised we got the ball away. I am super surprised we're doing this well against the Necromantic team. I thought for sure we were toast. So now his focus is bashing my team. Maybe, maybe, maybe clearing away for the werewolf. He's got to move that werewolf regardless. Oh, but that is a bad move for him. He can't move the werewolf. I can totally stay where I am for another turn. Oh, no. He just conceded. Please don't tell me he conceded. He conceded. Are you shitting me? I was doing so well. That is... I'm pissed. I'm actually totally pissed. I'm a... What the... Sure, 50k, man. Come on in. He doesn't... Okay. Okay. He could have he could have brought it back. He could have totally brought it back next half. I was delaying for sure, but that's the smart move. Okay, well fuck. Okay, well shit man, I don't know. Do, do I this is barely even like a full game. I mean it's a good half. It's a solid half. I was actually kind of impressed with the half. He was actually doing some good stuff. I mean okay, he got some bad rolls. If we look at the rolls, um, let's go to the dice rolls here. Look at the rolls here. So we were doing about average, I think. I mean, our armor rolls are... Yeah, our success rate was actually pretty good. Um, we passed all our boneheaded rolls. We got actually all the injury rolls we rolled for. Which is nice. Our pickups, not so great. Somehow we managed to pluck it out of the air, though. I'm surprised that's not actually in the pickup here. Uh, can I look at the... Um, so his, he had some good armor breaks there. He succeeded on both his dodges. He did fail on his pickup, that's true. He succeeded on his catch, though. Uh, okay, 50-50 on the going for it. So that's, that could be frustrating. But with the snow on the field, I don't know what you do about that. Um, then we can go both teams here. Um, there's a way to see. Yeah, here we go, block die. I mean, that catch... For my guy, when he knocked the ball away, was freaking lucky, for sure. And I'd be frustrated with that too, but I wouldn't walk away from it. Um, I mean, these look solid. They don't look too out of line. Look at the comparison here. We got eight skulls, which I don't think any... Well, he had to pick one because he ran out of rerolls. Um, four both down. 21 pushes. 15 special block die and 18 regular block. It's not bad. I mean, I have no idea what the regular distribution is for a half, but that doesn't seem that bad. And the D6 mode, if you want to see the D6 mode, but... I mean, that doesn't seem that bad. We go on both teams. Actually, let's look at his team first. See if he had, like, a amazingly bad run here. He did well in his dodges. His pickup was bad, but he only went for one of them. So you can't really get a good statistical anomaly from that. 
Going forward is 50-50 again. Injury was 66%. Yeah, I mean... How it goes, man. It's how it goes. I don't think we got anything more successful. I mean, our going for it was one more successful. Well, okay, I didn't realize we were going that many times. I'm actually dumb. Have I been going for it more times than I need to? Because that, no, that's both teams. Okay. Yeah, we didn't do any going for it. He's the one who decided going for it was a good idea. I did not. I thought, no, it's snowing. Going for it's dumb. But he, he kept going for it. Okay, well. I mean, dumb's probably not the right word for it, but still. And we had a pretty even split of the ball possession and everything else, so I don't know why I would not have conceded. I think he totally could have picked it up. I think he totally could have at least tied the next half, if not totally walked over me. But, okay, anyway. Um... So with the concession, I can't really treat that as a full game. I mean, usually I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another. Um, I'm gonna do another game as you guys. So I'm gonna level up these guys. Go ahead and go to the team roster here. So Crips, you're a thrower. You leveled up. Congratulations. I have no idea what to do with you, but all right, sure, let's level you up. And we get general and passing and agility and strength. Wow, we just rolled really well. Okay. We can go from a skill or from a dice skill. Any one of these. Uh, dodge is not necessarily bad for a thrower. But block might be better. For a thrower, guard eh, is not that great. Break tackle doesn't really matter at all. Passing is actually decent. We already have pass. Nerves of Steel is kind of nice. Accurate's kind of nice. We give it so he has Kick. Kick's in here somewhere, right? I thought so. It's General. Yeah, there we go. Kick's down here. But not giving him Block, I think, would be a mistake. We could give him Dodge instead. That would be pretty good. Rules the dice if he fails to dodge on any tackles on an opposing player. That's pretty good. I mean, I like block too, but for a for someone who throws the ball, theoretically you'd have, have possession. If I could step to one side and then throw the ball, and that that increases our chances pretty well. So okay, let's go dodge. What the hell? Okay. And now Gala is back up, so that's great too. Oh, you know what? We didn't actually need to get Grant at all, did we? Yeah, I'm a dummy who... Yeah, let's let's take him out. Because otherwise it just raises our TV for no reason. Let's not do that. We did not get the money back because... I'm dumb, and that's what happens. Yeah, that's, that's what happened there. That's okay. It'll That's the way it goes. I, for some reason, I thought I was down a player. I thought somebody died. But no, nobody died. Nobody died. We're fine. All right, so that's it for this game. Thank you for watching. This has been Blood Bowl on PC Universe. Repeat Universe 2 will be back, back with another human run before we jump to Kamari the next game after that. See you next time.